said this guy. Meandering. Hang on. An enemy character. Hello there, and welcome to the booth. So this is something that I have that I haven't been able to use too much. So this is this is something new, and I thought, what great of an opportunity um, to use this to tell you all about how um, I've destroyed my nuts over time. And so essentially what has brought me to this discussion and has brought me here to telling you about this is that I'm a proponent of adoption. You know, anytime somebody asks me, oh, do you want kids? I'll tell them. Well, I listen, let me tell you, I, I'd love to find myself some rugrats. Yeah. But yeah, so I've always been pro and, and I've noticed it's been getting this response from people They're like, yes, you can do it. I believe in you. You're such a good person. Like you're the best person for the job. Why only oh God, you're so good. You're so, uh, I'm starting to feel bad if I'm being honest, because that's that's kind of not why I'm doing it. See, um, over the years, I have exposed myself and uh, my future children, if if I were to put it that way, to severe punishment. And so, how you ask how how have you done this? Well, I'll tell you. So back in high school, I was part of an outdoor program, right? And so we did a lot of mountain biking. And when you mountain bike. It's it's quite punishing on, um, you know, let's just say I beat my kids before they were even born. That's that's the way I put it. And so, like, I've found several situations where I just had to emergency break. And by emergency break, I mean, smash my front wheel into a rock and proceed to crush my rocks into vitamins and minerals. And then f after that, when that was over, I actually got myself a road bike and I actually did a few really long trips on the road bike. Now, if you don't know about road bikes, they don't have suspension. They don't absorb shock for you. So it's, it's just. Uh, that, that has been quite punishing. And there have been several occasions of, uh, of this uh, happening. And then the day-to-day -day mountain biking and the day-to-day -day road biking that I did, it's like, how, how can I put this? I, I seem to be quite bad at this. Just the other day, for example, I actually worked out for the first time in a while and uh, I pulled something and I actually had to put some Rub A535, which if you're not Canadian, is it's like that ice, uh, icy hot stuff you put on, it gets really, really hot, and then it gets really, really cold. I had tried to put some down on my thigh, and uh, I, I accidentally uh, treated a part of my body that did, did not require treatment, that did not require a visit from, um, from that doctor. And so, a good image of what happened down there is, is probably something like this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm like, at the end of the day, when I tell people this, and this is kind of a, a PSA to everyone that I know, when, when I tell them this kind of thing, it's not necessarily that um, I'm a good person. That's in fact, it's not that at all. I'm just envisioning in the future, the doctor telling me, there's nothing down there. And so when I tell people, I'm like planting the seed. I'm like, I, I would like to adopt. And then, you know, the people around me are like, oh, that's nice. And I'm like, uh, and yeah, so that was the first use of the sound booth. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and post more garbage in the future. I, you know, I have the time now given I'm uh, unemployed. Yeah. Spill a little pain on the backdrop. Nowadays the words feel like chalk on the blacktop. Because when it rains, they're gone. It's invisible ink. No shock.